Welcome to your daily double reading. Today, we are going to be getting insight and guidance connected to what you're currently manifesting. And to do that, we are going to be using the Auspicious Symbols deck along with the Way of the Panda mini to get you two card combos to choose from for your message and your manifestation. So you may want to just think about intentionally what it is that you're trying to bring to life, let's say, what you're working on, what your goals are as you're prepping to choose the combo that feels most aligned for you right now. And these are symbols and help, like lucky symbols for luck and healing. That's what it says on the actual uh, deck itself. Let's add this tarot for you now. Okay, card combo number one or card combo number two. Once you have made your selection, you can head down to the description box and click on the timestamp next to the card combo that feels like it's most resonating with you and the insight and guidance that you need for what you are currently manifesting. And I will see you in your reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here for your message about what it is you're currently manifesting or what we need to know. So let's see what we have under the auspicious symbols first. Uh, card num number 41 and the swallow. This is a very, it feels like the beginning of liberation. <laughs> that's what, it, that's how it's coming through. Okay. Fly high with grace. You are embodying greater love, light, and peace. Again, it feels like the beginning of liberation. I don't know why it's being given to me that way. Like, I just say liberation, but it, there's something about this. Maybe it's the size of the bird or the fact that it kind of looks like this, this swallow is just taking off or something. Like, there's something that is just beginning or just starting or maybe you're... Uh, manifesting or connected this is connected to something that you're just getting footing about or you've just started receiving insight on or you know it could be a bright idea um, and it is part of what is going to provide you with light peace light love greater love you are embodying this so I don't I feel like this group is in complete alignment which is nice uh, for this, it almost feels like an ascension. Like we are just beginning here, F fly high with grace. So we're just beginning, but the liberation, like you're flying already. So it's not like we're still on the ground with this. There is something that has begun that is something that we have an idea about. There's something that you're putting work or energy into that you've been thinking about. Maybe you've been researching. Uh, maybe you've been even just wondering about it. Like sometimes, you, you know how you get those bright ideas that happen and then you're like wondering about it, looking into it. Whatever that is, this feels like um, it's a graceful ascension. So this is a nice... It's a nice symbol to have if you're looking to manifest something or bring something to higher heights, a higher height. Let's see what's under this card. Okay, the Four of Cups, aw. <laughs> Look at him, he's like, yeah, he, he looks a bit forlorn is the word that they're using, forlorn. I definitely would not be using that word. That's just not one of the words I would ever say, but okay, forlorn. He's this little panda is wondering about what he's got going on and wishing and, and hoping for something that perhaps is going to um, help him to rise or feel like better or good or if this is going to come true is another way to say that. Like, is what I have going to be all that I have or is there something else that will uh, happen for me or come true for me 
And the Four of Cups is nice because, you, and look at the butterflies, like it's a transition, transformation, but flight energy connected to this gift from the universe. So you've got another panda coming in and being like, hey, look at this. And this is the cup that you're looking for, or here you go, this is something you're gonna love. And so this combination of cards, because I'm feeling like a beginning of something, uh, along with do I have, is like, can I, can I move something to a different level with what it is that I have? The answer I think is yes at this time and for this moment, but also clearly the universe wants to provide for you, group one. This is a card where the universe provides a gift seemingly out of nowhere, but the trick is to fly high with grace as opposed to getting really grounded and almost obsessed or having this like one track mind on what it is that you already have. Because the problem, this panda looks this way because it's he's not observing this cup. So I always tell people just make sure your perspective is really, really wide when you have a four of cups because the universe is trying to offer you up something that you are going to love. And if you're just beginning to get these beautiful bright ideas or you're just beginning on a path or you're wondering about what's next for you, you're wondering if this is all there is, is there gonna be more? Am I moving in the right direction? Um, is this going to liberate me? Is this the beginning of some sort of liberation or flying to new heights? The answer is I'm guessing yes, <laughs> okay? I'm guessing yes but with what we've been given. However, you might not feel that way if you're, if you're missing this energy, this gift. If you're not looking um, through a larger scope at what it is that the universe is providing you as opposed to what you already have, uh, then you can really miss this cup. That's the warning when a four of cups shows up is like, if he's just so preoccupied with this, he's not gonna realize that he has this beautiful gift right there waiting for him to tap into, to use, to feel really good about, to continue to reach new heights and to do so with greater love, light and peace. So there's this feeling of uh, you need to have a wide scope as it concerns your manifestation this this week and as you're moving forward realize that you've already it feels like this has already taken off it, whether that's energetically or physically doesn't really matter the energy is that it has already taken off and that you're flying and it's a graceful flight right that's what the swallow is giving us this isn't at least at this point this doesn't feel um like like out of alignment it feels like this could this is moving smoothly and you, if you feel like it's not moving, widen your scope because you're missing something. There's some little bit, there's a piece, there's a gift, there's something that's coming out of nowhere to you, um, perhaps, that the universe wants to offer you or spirit wants to offer you up. Notice the little things that are filling your heart with joy or that are exciting you because those are connected to your manifestation and your flight upwards is what I would say. Do not allow yourself to be preoccupied with just what you see, just what's in front of you, because there's more to it than that, and you have help. And again, I, I wanna say a gift, it's like we're an offering. You have an offering that is available, and perhaps more than one, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Keep your energy open for it. Um, it's only going to serve you, and you can do so with, as, as they're saying here, grace, love, light, staying in that peaceful energy, knowing you're being guided. So I hope that this serves you for today, group number one. If you enjoyed this reading, uh, leave me a comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss my future videos that I'll be putting up. And I will see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double reading. If you're listening to this, then you have chosen the second card combo here for your messages and your insight on what you're currently manifesting. So let's see what the auspicious symbols gives us first for you. Ooh la la, if you chose this group, help is here. <laughs> Ganesh, the Ganesh card. I always love a Ganesh card. It always has a great energy attached to it, of course. Smooth sailing ahead, all obstacles are being dissolved and released. Yes, the elephant-headed god, uh, remover of obstacles. So 
you want to call in Ganesh. I mean, now you've got an angel, you've got Ganesh. This group is definitely uh, uh, moving and shaking things. Now, when it comes to Ganesh, it's the idea and the understanding that there is a way to um, more easily move forward. So if there is anything in your uh, journey to manifesting whatever it is you're like you're looking at manifesting so what you're trying to manifest right what you're working on bringing in calling in bringing to life your brain will have some sort of a setup your mind is giving you a setup of like what you need to do right and there's probably a smoother path smooth sailing ahead available to you so you want to keep a very open mind and call in Ganesh to help remove any kind of obstacles either preconceived notions like that you're thinking oh, I'm gonna hit this or this is gonna be hard or this is whatever you want to any any kind of obstacle that you have already implanted in your mind like you're assuming that it's going to be harder than you know it actually is going to be um, and also then anything that pops up in your way in the form of or in the perception of an obstacle so like something that makes you really frustrated something that comes out of nowhere where you're like oh my god I thought this was gonna be so easy but this popped up that's when you call Ganesh in because um, even if it seems like there's an insurmountable obstacle in your way sometimes it's just spirit delaying us for divine timing purposes like sometimes it's not that serious when we our mind is like oh my god this is crazy how am I ever going to get through this get around it get over it what am I supposed to do with this this sometimes when you when you're working with Ganesh it's like this thing just not disappears but disappears dissolves released you wake up in the morning and it's no longer an issue or it or you have the answer you have the solution and you're like whoa why was I even freaking out about that so this group as it concerns what you're journeying towards what you're looking to call in or what you're working on bringing to life your current manifestation you have the right kind of help you have the the smooth sailing kind of help where it's gonna probably be a, lot, a whole lot easier than you think. Changing your perception on this in front of uh, the journey is really great as well because now you know you have someone to call on. And by the way, you always have, you can always call on Ganesh, but with the intentional ask for today's reading uh, along with Ganesh here, it just tells me that you may have a very smooth week ahead. And even if you observe something as difficult, don't, Count your chickens, you know, don't even, don't assume that it's going to continue to be hard or it's going to be hard to resolve. Ask for help in how to resolve it and it may just be released. It's like eight of wands energy. Oh, look at this. You've got the king of pentacles and look at that panda. Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> I mean, he's just sitting and enjoying all of his bamboo, his big old pentacle. He's having a great time. He looks so happy. Um, and again, this is top of your game, master of the suit of earth. You know, things are working out for you this week. Things are, they may be much more lucrative. Um, you may be having a bunch of time to enjoy yourself um, rather than you thought you were going to be working. Now you're going to be having some time off. Um, your body may just feel so amazing if you've been hitting obstacles with your physical self. So anything that's physical, anything that's financial, anything that's of this plane of existence. So again, to have, to have Ganesh and the King of Pentacles, you guys are going to have like abundance times a million plus. You've also got the skills right? You've got the skills. You're a master of whatever it is you're, you're doing. So this could be you own a business or you work at a, a top level position or you're able to work with somebody who's at the top of their game as it concerns whatever area of your life we're talking about here. Um, you, you basically have everything you need and then some to walk through the week doing very well <laughs> in a very abundant state. And also I would just venture to to say also just enjoying it you know it feels like there's an enjoyment because <laughs> you know the king of pentacles really enjoys the work and enjoys the play evenly balanced that's what makes him a master of the suit he uh does what he needs to do he shows up what it, for what he needs to show up for but then when it's time to chill and enjoy his pentacle and his bamboo he's doing that really well <laughs> as well so both of these are coming into kind of play here where 
you think you got a big obstacle, but you trust and then you know how to get around it, you know just who to call, or it just dissolves and is released on its own overnight. You're not worrying about it throughout the night. You're allowing yourself to reground, knowing you have all the skills you need to be able to handle this or handle whatever comes um, you know, in your way or on your path. And with Ganesh, you know, the removal of the obstacle is just, it's just a smooth energy with a, a high level abundance connected to your manifestation. So it's, it's looking like a really great energy for you, group number two. So soak it all in, soak it up, use it, align with it. I love this vibe. I hope that this serves you for the week ahead. Uh, if you enjoyed this reading or there's something resonating with you in the reading, please uh, leave me a comment down below or give this uh, video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss my future readings and I will see you in the next Daily Double.